Hello from Hungary. Today we are at the Hero Square, which was built to commemorate the 1,000 years of Hungarian settlement. Take a look at it right behind me. It's huge, it's, it's pretty big. And right behind me, it has two uh, museums. This one does not have any permanent exhibitions. But it's a beautiful building that has architecture with mosaics. I'm not sure if you can see. And the one behind me now, right here, is under construction, so we can't go inside. Um, it has over 20, or I think between 20 and 50 art pieces by um, Spanish artists like Goya, Velazquez, and a few more that they mentioned. We are now at the second largest synagogue in the world. The first one um, was between New York's and Jerusalem's. Um, different sources say different things. Um, so for now, let's just say this one for sure is the second largest synagogue. And I'm right in front of the Tree of Life, which is also called Emmanuel's Tree. from food, wine, souvenirs, anything that you can think of. This is the market from the outside. It has the Hungarian signature roof, which is the same. We are now at Matthias, Matthias Church, I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English, and it's just such a beautiful complex. Look how pretty the mosaic roof. It's gorgeous, right? So this beautiful white structure that you see right there, it's only part of it. Um, it extends all throughout the complex of the church and um, I didn't mention, but this church is on top of a hilltop. That's why it has beautiful views of the city. We're gonna get a tour now of the opera. But before we do that, we're gonna get on the oldest metro station in Budapest. visiting here in Budapest. Let's see how gorgeous it is. Even though this one is smaller, um, about half of the one in Vienna, I personally think it's more beautiful. We are now heading to the presidential balcony to see the view from there. So that's the parliament. And this is the beautiful view. We were there, which is uh, Matthias Church. We are now by the parliament. It's right in front of me. Let me see if you guys can see. Right there. And now we're heading to the Holocaust Memorial. I'm sure you all have seen it. There are shoes by the river bank, and this is the memorial. So 
So the reason for the shoes is to symbolize, as I mentioned, the Jewish that were killed here in Budapest. Um, before they were killed, um, they were actually shot here. And before they were shot, they were asked to take off their clothes and their shoes. And then they were thrown in the Danubio River. We are now in the House of Parliament. Look at this beautiful and stunning staircase. Goodbye Budapest, let's see where the next adventure takes us.